Hi, in keeping with the uh, annual tradition, I now have the top 10 worst books of 2023. Um, an interesting mix, maybe some things that are expected, you know, towards the bottom of the list. Uh, first up, interestingly enough, we have Starship Troopers by Robert A. Heinlein. Not that it's a bad book, it's just... Um, uh, I just didn't think there was much to it. I wasn't um, too impressed. Uh, um, but not bad science fiction. Just um, underwhelming. <laughs> Number nine, we have Level 7 by Mordecai Rochewald. This is um, basically... Uh, nuclear bunker an operator in a nuclear bunker he doesn't have a name he's just a number and there's a nuclear exchange um i just can't help but feel this is very very dated you know from the 60s to the 80s there must have been like one of these books uh, every month or maybe every week you know nuclear exchange nuclear codes nuclear espionage this and that the cold war um and you know the cuban missile crisis was the world on a knife edge but um there's just so many of these books um officer x127 his name it doesn't really state the country but um, i don't know russia maybe uh but it's just so dated, and the novel itself is just uh, a dull, dingy affair. Um, it wants to be the movie um, Threads, which is a really incredible, powerful movie, but it's just far from that. It's, you're just uh, boring, dime a dozen nuclear war story number eight uh, is the babysitter four by r l stein i think um anything with four in the title is probably <laughs> not going to be very good but uh it's just tired and a, it's a book that doesn't need to be written and uh it's just a very a uh, silly ending sort of um a duel between two ghosts it's just uh, nonsensical really uh just a, a good series but just going out on a whimper and a book that didn't need to be made number seven uh we have the cornelius chronicles book one which I'm just regarding as one book, even though it's two stories. Uh, unfortunately, it's just... Uh, uh, didn't really live up to my expectations. It's just a mad jumble of stuff. An interesting character, to be sure, Jerry Cornelius. But um, it's just uh, some jumbled up mishmash. Um some good writing by Moorcock, but I was not impressed by it. But I'll probably still look out and read the other two books in the Jerry Cornelius Chronicles. Uh, number six is With Blood and Iron by Douglas Riemann. It tells the story of a uh, German submarine crew towards the uh, end of the war when it's becoming clear that uh, Germany is uh, going to lose the war. It's uh, too long and it drags on and on. It's a bit of an arduous read to get through it. Number, let's see, five, we have 
on Her Majesty's Secret Service by Ian Fleming. Uh, to me, this is the worst James Bond story. Um, it's just, there's an element of carry on James Bond, you know, the carry on movies, the British uh, comedy farce movies. And there's an element of that. Um, James Bond is so eminent. Hillary or Hillary, as I thought some of the <laughs> European women said it. Uh, it's just James Bond goes to a skiing resort location. Um, the ending is good, but the ending still does not save the novel. Number four, uh, we have One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest by Ken Casey. Ken Casey. Um, the, as I read the uh, book from the library and I've since returned it. And this is the movie, uh, what's his name? Uh, again, I think it's quite dated and uh, I'm no expert, but I think it's um, what some in the picture community to call dude bro fiction. Um, a bunch of men all together and uh, misogyny ensues and I think it is both the well more the book than the movie um, is uh, pretty darn misogynist um, uh, the movie does her a better um, because Jack Nicholson he's a bit a lot more the main character Randall P. McMurphy is a bit more charismatic but he's still uh, I don't know uh, worst he's a rapist at best he's a child molester um, and we're supposed to be sort of rooting for that kind of character um, and it's both the uh, book and the movie is a power struggle between two pretty horrible characters um in terms of mental health it's i think it's very dated or hope it's very dated uh things are much more different these days depending on uh which country you're in but uh no i really didn't like the book or particularly like the movie and Number three, we're getting into what I think is suspected. We have Disaster by L. Ron Hubbard, Volume 8 of the Mission Earth Saga. Um, I do have to say that the uh, plot actually moves along. Finally, there's a change of narration from Sultan Gris to... Uh, well, it's not exactly clear who the narrator is. It's sort of like almost third person but not quite we uh follow jeter hair a little bit and then we follow j walter madison uh, and it's just uh, the same nonsensical garbage and in keeping with nonsensical garbage we have family victorious by l ron hubbard um so we f we're following J. Walter Madison, the uh, PR character, and he's now on Voltron, uh, Voltar, which is the uh, home planet of Sultan Gris and Jotaro Heller, and it's still the same nonsensical garbage. Uh, Voltarians are supposed to be this ad highly advanced race, but they're not. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. And lastly, number one. Again, this must be, you probably know what's coming here. The Doomed Planet by L. Ron Hubbard. This is the final volume 10 volume of Mission Earth. And as I say, nonsensical garbage. I don't know why he... L. Ron Hubbard has this hatred of psychology and psychiatry. I think it's because um, psychologists and psychiatrists 
just called out Dianetics for being a bunch of crap. And I think he has this hatred of psychology and psychiatry and it's all the problems of Earth or psychology and psychiatry. And also PR as well. Um, it's just nonsensical garbage. Uh, the characters are horrible. But it's finally over. And in keeping with tradition. <laughs> so there you go. That's the top 10 worst books of 2023 and it goes without saying but I'll say it anyway in my own opinion um, although I don't think you well you might disagree with some of the choices but um, that's my own personal list of my own personal views <laughs> thanks for watching bye